How's it going guys? We just got done doing an update on the FDR-X7, so I figured why not do one on the MR2? You haven't seen this thing in a while. Didn't really do much. I've been driving this thing a lot though. This is like my daily driving vehicle now. Drive it almost every day. <laughs> Uh, the interior, it's still still crappy and blue, but, you know, it is what it is. It's dirty because, like I said, I drive it, but it is stained up pretty bad. Uh, let's see here. I don't think I recorded any of it on YouTube, but I did put the engine back together. Um, just the air box and all that stuff was taken off. Put a new cap, rotor button, plugs, and wires on this thing. Change the oil, service the transmission, all that normal stuff. I think y'all got to see the transmission though. Um, yeah, I can't even remember. <laughs> yeah, I do enjoy this car. I said, I've actually put a lot of miles in this thing. I'd like to do something with it eventually, like get it painted or case swap it or something like that would be cool. But the body's really straight on this thing. Especially for like the age, I need to get some some new window seals. But it's not in bad shape. The front bumper kind of sucks. I was tempted to try to fix that, but like I said, it's a lot of work. Don't really have the time or money for that at the moment. Still has the transmission issue though. But it is a fun little car to drive. Everything works, the AC, the heat, just the transmission doesn't shift. But I know it's only a matter of time before I find one of these that's been crashed. Like I said, I bought this car from a friend and when me and him were talking about it, I found one that was manual, was crashed in the front end and I should have bought it, but I didn't because I didn't know if I was gonna end up with this shell, this car, so it is what it is. Put my seatbelt on, you know, safety first, all that good stuff. Yeah, so it's still doing the transmission issue. This looks cool little car though. I like driving this thing. It's not really it's not really that big of a deal to manually shift it either. It doesn't really doesn't bother me that much. I'm used to driving a manual car anyway, so you just have to like manually shift it first, second, third, and all that stuff. It's really not that big of a deal. So if I wanted to take off on like second gear, so I would like manually shift it to first, and you know, it's not shifting to you manually shift it to second, so it doesn't bother me that much. And then it shifts into third by itself, and you shift into overdrive. Sometimes it works perfectly fine though, I don't know. It's the craziest thing ever. It's not very fast. It's really good on gas though. And I'm thankful for this thing right now with the current gas prices. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> it's power right there. <laughs> Good firm shift to second. That was that was perfect. Yeah, like I said, I put fix the brakes on it. They don't make all the scratchy, screechy sounds anymore. So it's actually a, a drivable car now. It's nice. I so just gotta manually shift the transmission. That doesn't bother me though. But as of right now, like I said, it doesn't want to shift into overdrive. There's a little trick for it. I'll show you guys. Check this out. <laughs> so we're going down the road. It doesn't want to shift into overdrive. So if I take the key and I cycle it, it shifts into overdrive. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it doesn't bother me. I'm used to driving stuff like this, but I, I don't know. All I know about automatic transmissions is when they stop working, you should manual swap the car. So, which is the game plan for this thing. I'm sure eventually 
the transmission, it will completely die. But I mean, I, dude, I don't even nine miles I'm throwing this thing. It's, it's a lot. So, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you don't. I'm glad it actually done it this time, so you can go, you know, this video. But yeah, sometimes you get in, you drive it, you know, to work or whatever, and come back, and like it won't even it work perfectly normal. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah, I know it's just a matter of time before I find a crashed one that's like totally demolished that I can afford to get, and then I'll just manually swap it. Or if the transmission blows up, or, or if the engine blows up, I'll just case swap it, which would be really cool. But I got so much going on right now, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky and somebody hook me up with some parts. But I've been looking for like K, you know, K engines and stuff like that, transmissions. But we'll see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Other than that, it drives perfectly fine. <laughs> so now I want to shift into overdrive again. Let's do the little key trick. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Hold on, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Quick little cycle, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. I'm not complaining. Like I said, I got about a thousand bucks in this thing right now. It's got any brand new tires, brake pads, brake master cylinder, the tune up, and buying the car. So that ain't too shabby. I'll drive this thing like this until it falls completely apart. I don't care. But like I said, it's only a matter of time before I find one that's crashed. And that's what I'll do. In fact, I'd love to find one that was like well taken care of, but just something, you know, an accident took it out. I mean, it's got like clean black interior and a manual transmission that would be awesome because i would love to leave it just non-turbo and boring and just have a cool little car to drive not everything has to be fast guys remember that sometimes it's just about enjoying the cars the way they were meant to be enjoyed i guess so i probably will never even put coilers on this thing unless i get like stupid free time and stupid money so, but yeah, right now this is my daily, so I don't want to like screw it up, like making it hard to get in and out of driveways and stuff like that. You have to worry about scrubbing, so I mean, it just drives. So it's not, not loud. There's an exhaust leak, but it's like one of the flanges, um, one of the brackets that hold the transmission. Or, geez, what am I talking about? One of the little braces that hold the exhaust on. It's like crack the pipe. Let's see, come to a stop right here. Let's see if it'll actually take off in first. Nope, so I don't know what gear we're in, but I have to manually shift it down to first. It takes off on. Shift to second. It shifts to third by itself. And usually when you shift into drive, it'll shift into overdrive, but. is guys a thousand bucks I'm not complaining let me pull on in here park up real quick show you guys this what a thousand dollars get you yeah I will, I will buy any 90s car that I can find for 500 bucks to me that is just like like why wouldn't you so hey it's a raccoon <laughs> real quick I think the reason I make these videos is because I know a lot of people would have seen this car and like would have been scared to buy it because it was clapped out or whatever needed so much work but I mean it just goes to show you a little bit of work a little bit of money and you can turn you know a crappy car into something worth having and I think that's why I even started a YouTube channel because I don't have a lot of money, but if you were to see my yard, you'd be like, oh, that dude's got like 250s, Corvette, and Camaro, and MR2, and 240, and all this stuff, but it's, it all started like this. You know, some raggedy junk someone didn't want. But yeah. So I think a lot of people, you know, turned this thing down. Like I said, it wasn't running. 
it was really nasty <laughs> like with the window was knocked out of the back of it but yeah i love this car absolutely love this car and like i said back in the day i used to have to sell you know cars like this I had an sc300 that was a manual original factory manual that i had to sell it's the same way stopped running someone got mad knocked the front window out of it it sat like that forever and then and got swamp water in it and stuff it was nasty i bought it for like 300 bucks i think that's what i paid that guy drug it to the house put a battery in it and everything worked like all the gauges the radio all that stuff works so i was like this thing might run and yeah put a fuel pump in it fired right up <laughs> and like i had a running manual sc300 i like unfortunately like i need money and had to sell it so i would have loved to have kept that car though I'm trying to hang on to stuff more these days so that's kind of another reason behind the youtube channel maybe i get like some support and i can save these things or at least motivate people to save them i see a lot of cars sitting around that shouldn't shouldn't be sitting around enough of me rambling check the car out That little no that noise, I did notice that last time I was driving it. Kind of hear like that, I don't know, grinding sound. It's really bad over near the vent. Pretty sure you hear it getting louder. But I'm almost certain that's either just an idler pulley, maybe like a bearing in the, uh, alternator was well, definitely not the alternator because I replaced there better not be the alternator because I replaced the alternator in this thing I forgot about that maybe maybe the AC compressor I think sometimes like the little um, I really don't know I've really taken them apart but there's I think there's like a little bearing or something in there and it's like clutch and it grabs when you want the AC on or something I don't know but it could be that I've heard AC compressors make noises hopefully I'm hoping it's not though because I enjoy AC and this thing has it so <laughs> Yeah, that's enough of me rambling guys i just want to take time and try to get the youtube channel caught up because like i said um just want to focus more on actually trying to make videos and stuff like that because it makes me happy i don't know i like the whole process of it you know trying to get cool content good shots editing and all that stuff it's fun i like it <laughs> so and like what is cool when you do something and people are like dude that's dope i like that you know it's awesome to like to to show people that you can do dumb stuff like this and get away with it sometimes <laughs> but yeah and you don't have to have a lot of money or a shop or tools or any of that stuff you just got to have a clap down car basic tools and you know will to get out there and bust your knuckles up <laughs> all right that's enough of me rambling on this one and uh we'll see you on the next one guys appreciate you